and I am currently back in San Francisco with my lovely sister Jasmine. Hello. <laughs> She's focusing on the road right now but we're headed currently to Stonestown Trader Joe's at this moment and I thought it would be a really good idea to a video to do a video called what it's like being an email in San Francisco in 2022. I think there's a lot of concerns around like safety, around dating, around friendship. Like there's so much I think that comes with being a specific like archetype in San Francisco and I was like I'm here, Jasmine's here, so I'm gonna ask her a few questions. Oh wait, then can you start over? That was not a fun hello. <laughs> I have a better hello. Okay. Hello, friends of the universe. Oh no, friends of the online world. Are you done? <laughs> okay, anyways, so the, this whole idea was to kind of like, like kind of share our experiences, like from my experience being back, and then Jazz has been here for a while now, and she like has a family, like has a job, like like her home is here, and so I guess my home is here too, because you are where my home is too. Um, oh. Oh. But I would say a lot of people who are like us are probably thinking like, why are we still living here? Um, is it safe for them to move here? And I think we have the experiences, well, I have some experiences to talk about this. Let's talk about general safety. So using this as an example, like Jazz's, what do you call this? That is a sharp object. Okay. A well, blue sharp object. Yeah. Basically Jasmine has one of these on like Kapow! <laughs> on all of her keychains <laughs> and then the one that like we have too also has a Z put it there I didn't put it there I know but it's for safety yeah. right dude you, you are de yeah. derailing my interview <laughs> is this on yeah it is. it's on okay in terms of general safety how do you how do you keep yourself safe jazz in San Francisco what's non-general safety <laughs> I know, I'm about I know, to taekwondo. I know taekwondo, so I am a blue belt strike. Yeah, when you're so in, fifth, can... in your fifth grade. No, actually, it was like high school. So I will drop kick anyone's butt who comes near me. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, but what else? Um, I don't go out late at night. Well, also because I have a toddler and I'm too tired to go out late at night. Mm -hmm. Stay away from crazy areas. What? Dark alleys. Crazy areas includes like Tenderloin. Is there any other area you wouldn't frequent? Anywhere downtown at night. Yeah. Unless I'm with Z or someone else. Yeah. Sorry to all you single people who like to party. Oh my gosh. Club at night. No, you can still go out and party and whatnot. I would just like, I personally would not get like drunk or wasted because like I just don't trust what? the who after you? hours anymore. You don't do that anymore? Shut up. What are you, you like 45? <laughs> oh my gosh. And then. The, the thing is, like when we went karaoke, like all of us were in downtown, but there's like a big group of us, so it didn't feel as bad. Like if you go with a lot of people, I think it's fine. But personally, I just like would not, I would not be out there late at night. I think after seven, like I would just go home, honestly. This used to be an olive garden. I'm so sad. This place is pretty good, the udon place. Chipotle, you can never go wrong with Chipotle. I freaking love Chipotle. And we are headed to 85 degree bakery. Woohoo! Stop! Don't stop. Ooh, yummy. I wanna get the hot dog bun. Ooh. Yeah, bolo mian bao. And then my favorite hot dog bun. Yes, I am five years old, so that's why I always get it. Do you like red beans? Yeah, get him one. Can you grab it? And then I want to... Oh my god, look at those cakes. Mm. Well, I like lock the doors immediately when we get in the car. Oh yeah, that's right? actually, yeah, that's true. I always look around me and even when I'm walking to my car or walking in the parking lot or anything, yeah. I always look around, look behind my shoulder. Yeah. For work, I had some colleagues fly in and I was showing them around. We just went to get lunch. And this random homeless person touched, like pushed me or grabbed me from the back and I screamed. And um, that was near Civic Center. Oh where God, there's that's a lot so of scary. School. Yeah. At least, good thing you didn't, anything ha didn't happen. Got jasmine green tea with cheese. Look how cute this is. It's for my happy lemon. But continuing my vlog of what I was saying, 
whenever I take an Uber or I take a lift into the city, I always share it with my friend or my sister so they know where my location is at all times. And as you can tell, I'm also just like, I don't carry anything with me. I don't bring a bag anymore when I go out. Um, I just have like my keys and my credit card and that's it. And yeah, I just don't really bring stuff with me anymore when I come to the city. But if I'm in a car and I'm dr we're driving to a restaurant, then I would. But anything else, I just I just stop bringing my stuff. In San Francisco, we always ask each other like, did you get home yet? Are you safe? And in Singapore, I never ask people that. I think here it's kind of just like by nature, you just want to make sure that your friend is okay. Or like if it's late at night, I would never let someone go home by themselves. Or like I mean, they have to go in an Uber, but I would never let them walk home by themselves. And like the safety is like the most important thing. I most likely will probably be spending like thirty to forty dollars on Uber just to get home safely too <laughs> and that is the price you pay for safety in San Francisco and even that's not guaranteed. I would have my sister pick me up and drop me off but I don't want to bother them so right now I'm not paying rent and I'm okay paying like a leg and an arm to get home safely so. I'm here with Connie also another car interview because I did one with Jasmine. Oh okay. Okay so Connie how long have you lived in the city for? Like a year and a half. And what do you think of the city so far in terms of safety? I don't really go out by myself at night. Like, if you walk around, as a, as a woman at least, you should, like, definitely be aware of your surroundings. And what about, like, when you drive? Like, when you park, you definitely can't leave anything in your car. Like, even, like, a, like, you know, paper bag, because someone might break into your car. How many times have your has your car been broken into? <laughs> uh, in SF, I think, like, three or four. But it's, it's over the years, though. It's not, like, this year. But I would say, I think my car got broken into, like, in 2020, for sure. Yeah. And then recently, I've been better at not leaving stuff around, so it's been okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I was a witness to one of those times. Yeah. Don't try to save like a couple bucks by parking your car outside if there's a garage. Yeah. If you can get a garage, yeah. <laughs> oh, and then why do you still live in San Francisco? The location I live in is actually really convenient. It's a really good deal for the price. That's why I'm there. Otherwise, I think like don't need to live in the city. You can probably live in other places where you can drive. I know. That's yeah. true. Uh, being yeah. in the city is so convenient, but yeah. Yeah. It depends on what your lifestyle is too. Like if you are okay with the burbs, like it's more chill, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I don't I like living in the city, but I'm also like because of safety, I'm not sure if I would ever move back in. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. Maybe East Bay or like somewhere close. Oh, I saw this app where you can like if you're alone by yourself, you can like hold the it's like a button in the app where you can keep holding it and then as soon as you let it go it'll call the police or something oh it was like a safety thing obviously like you know if you have pepper spray or something but then i feel like those things i don't know if you'll be quick enough to be able to use it yeah. um i think most importantly is just be aware of your surroundings and like if you see someone like you know tailing you or something like that like hopefully be able to run and yeah. get away i don't know if i told you but i used to like when i feel like things were sketchy i would yeah. literally run yeah, like that's I was like, like I would, yeah. yeah, like I would just sprint. Like I was like, I don't care what you think of me, and I was like, I would just yeah. sprint and, and then stop. Yeah. Sprint and, stop. and then at night, I would just avoid being by yourself. Yeah. Like if you can, or like, yeah, Uber, even if it's close, maybe. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, but that's good advice. Yeah. Thank you for contributing to my vlog. <laughs> that was five minutes with Connie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. Have Rena over here. Hello. How do you describe the state of San Francisco? Well, post pandemic, it's not really the same as it was before, but I still feel like it's very tech driven. A little less people than it was beforehand, but you know, still super expensive. But why do you continue to stay in San Francisco then? Uh, I'm a software engineer at in test at a tech company. I still love the, the Bay Area for like its culture, diversity, food, you know, the people, mostly the people. I'm from San Francisco, so. What advice would you give to people who are thinking about moving to San Francisco? Well, like financial advice would be live with roommates. Maybe try to live a, a car-free life as much as possible. Gas is super expensive. Definitely find a job here before you move. You know, honestly, the only other place I've ever lived was Davis <laughs> for college. And San Francisco just, it's the best city I've ever lived in. To be honest, a lot of people are moving out of the city and sometimes it feels like the issues are so large that no one has the capacity to clean it up. A lot of us either turn a blind eye or we avoid the problem because we'd rather ensure our own safety. 
If you're still living in the city, let me know what your thoughts are and see you in the next vlog.